All right, let's throw some of these out. Pop this. We gotta go get a kill. And watch the melt, baby. Yo guys, what is up? Max and all Wonderlands video and today we're going over how to make a companion build in Wonderlands. Now, companion builds are incredibly strong. In fact, I would say that they're some of the strongest builds in the game. I beat the story yesterday in nine hours using a companion build and I was literally skipping boss phases just like while I was leveling up. The damage you can get is absolutely absurd, but the actual scaling of companions is a little bit confusing, so I wanna break that down for you guys. So instead of doing like a full build video and showing you my perfect items at Chaos 20, I wanna actually explain to you how you could go about making your own build and uh, scaling that damage as much as you possibly can. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to talk about is in my opinion, the most important skill of building a companion build and that is faithful thralls this is a tier one skill and it is one of the most powerful skills in the game at six out of three and i saw some people asking how you get six out of three uh you can get six out of three by grabbing class mods Cra class mods can boost a skill past its normal limit and at six out of three you're going to get 18 percent increased damage dealt per companion summit now this is a global increased damage meaning your guns your spells your companions your action skills Everything you do will get 18% per companion. And the way that I'm building, I'm getting around 10 companions to sometimes even 12 companions up at a time for over a 180% global damage increase for everything that you deal. So we're going to want to be having as many companions as we can on the field. And then our guns, our spells, literally anything, and especially our companions, will just shred things to bits. And before we continue with this skill tree, I need to explain the different types of companions because there are multiple types of companions and the way that you scale them is all different. And that's kind of the key to building a companion build. So one of the first types of companions are Tidior Throws that will summon a Hydra. Now this Hydra counts as a companion and will benefit from companion damage, but will not benefit from ability damage or spell damage. It will benefit from companion damage. And will count when you throw one out as a stack of faithful thralls. So as you can see in the bottom, now I've got two, now I've got three, now I've got four, um, now I've got five. And this is one of the, the quickest ways of building up faithful thralls. One thing that you can do is just throw a bunch of these out and then use your spell or, or use your action skill and all of a sudden you've got like over 100% increased damage just by throwing those things out. The next type of companion, or the next type of TDR, is the thrown weapons that turn into a gun. We've got the pixie ones on SMGs. Uh, these are some of the strongest companions, but they do not count for faithful thralls. So as you can see, I will summon these out. These shoot like a swarm of bullets at enemies. They benefit from companion damage, but do not count for faithful thralls. So one thing that you can do is you can throw the TDRs out and then swap to a pixie companion to do the most damage. Another type uh, that I have here, I can't use this yet. Uh, this is a gun I'm using on my level 40, but drone weapons become a gun with wings and shoot enemies before ex homing in and exploding. This is also counts as a companion damage, will deal companion damage, increase by companion damage, but will not count for faithful thralls, but is one of the stronger hitting companion things that you can use. Um, TDRs that say that they, um, do like a dagger storm or a lightning bolt. Those actually benefit from spell damage. Those are spell damage and, and increased by spell damage. So those are not the types for us. We're mainly going to be using the hydras that when you throw a TDR, you're going to summon a hydra. Uh, you can get a single headed hydra or a double headed hydra. Next up, we have hydra spells. So for spells, there's actually a few different types. Um, hydras are really the only companion summons that I've come across. And you've got a large variation of them. So my blue one is going to summon a Hydra that whenever an enemy is killed that was damaged by a Hydra will summon another Hydra. This is one of the best ways to build up Faithful Thralls super quick. Uh, you've also got a three-headed Hydra, which will have a Hydra that will fire more projectiles out. You've got a simple Hydra uh, spell. You've got the one spell that I'm looking for that I haven't gotten. I got it on my first playthrough and I haven't seen it again. Is a spell that summons four Hydras instantly. Um, for Faithful Thralls, that is insane. And the interesting thing about these spell summons is they benefit from not only from spell damage. These companions benefit from spell damage. But they 
could benefit from companion damage, meaning that there's multiple ways to scale them, which is what makes these things even stronger. Um, you can spec into things like Saint of the Soul, which will actually give them bonus dark magic damage because they count as dealing spell damage. Not only that, but you can actually spec into Blast Gas. When another Fate Maker deals spell damage, there is a chance you will create an elemental explosion dealing ability damage of the spell's elemental type to nearby enemies. This works with the Spell Hydra Companions. If your Fate Maker dealing spell damage, like it counts as the Hydras, so you can get even more Hydra damage by specking this. What The point of what I'm trying to say is that there's multiple ways to scale Companions. One of the overlying things that you're gonna want, the most important multiplier is Companion damage, but increasing spell damage, increasing ability damage will actually get you even higher damage. And that leads us to our third form of Companion, which are Dark Hydras. These are some of the hardest hitting companions that you can get in the game um it's really really nice to have them and you can get a class mod that not only boosts faithful thralls but boosts dark hydras giving you a chance to summon even more of them these also get deal dark magic ability damage but they count as companions and they benefit from both companion damage and ability damage meaning that you can scale them off of both all right I've kind of explained as, as much as I could. Now let's kind of like wrap it up together to make kind of a build. All right, now let's tie it all together. Here is my full skill tree suggestion. I'm still like, I need to farm the gear for this build. So I'm actually gonna be doing that live on stream on twitch.tv slash moxie if you wanna come check that out today. Um, but one of the coolest things that we can do is go with the Spore Warden to get the skill gun critical hit chances increased and companion crit critical hit chances increased, which is going to increase our crit and our companion's crit. And then also grab Thrill of the Hunt, which is going to give us gun critical hits grant increased companion damage for a duration, which will be 90% increased companion damage and we're getting companion critical hit chance and in the spore warden tree we can also get more companion damage and we can also get ability damage which the ability damage will boost the damage of blast gasp and the dark hydras so one of the biggest things that the Greyborn has in terms of companion damage and companion builds is there's just a lot of ways to scale the damage and a lot of things that are going to be beneficial. The most beneficial is is companion damage, but you can get spell damage, you can get ability damage and kind of go crazy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my like suggestion and kind of build guide on how to make your own build. Let me know if you guys prefer this to like if I'm currently putting out like this is my build, this is how to do it versus like here is a suggestion and here's how to make it yourself. So yeah, guys, uh, that is it for the video. I will catch you on the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. I was putting